I'm also an athlete and an adventurer. Uh, I have climbed the highest mountain on each of the seven continents. When Gary Johnson said that in his opening statement during our libertarian candidate debate, I thought, who cares? I want to know how he's going to make our country free, not how many mountains he's climbed. But maybe it does matter. It shows that Johnson, unlike, say, Hillary and most politicians, has a life outside politics. Unlike most politicians, Gary Johnson realizes the earth doesn't revolve around government. After I uh, stopped being governor of the state of New Mexico, I wanted to get myself in just, you know, just super fit uh, condition. You know, I, I wasn't going to not get to the top of Everest uh, because physically I couldn't do it. I, I, I was really into being ultra, ultra fit. Instead of making money by becoming a lobbyist like many politicians do, Johnson did Ironman races around the world. He once ran 100 miles to the Rocky Mountains, hardly stopping. He did the whole 100 miles in 30 hours. Years later, he went to climb Mount Everest. My mother's mantra during my re-election campaign was, re-elect Gary so we won't go climb Mount Everest. <laughs> but after his two terms, he did go. 25th of March, we're on our way to Lukla, 9,500 feet. People die climbing Everest. You saw some of the stable ladders. Look at this. Yeah. Welcome to Everest. Welcome to the ice fall. Some of the crevasses were so wide that you'd have to ladder down into them and ladder back out the other side. Dozens of climbers have been documented to have died falling off the Lhotse face. It was incredibly dangerous. It was really dangerous. It was just, it was crazy. The climb took months. Four o'clock in the morning and... Oh, man. But they did reach the top. Dave and I whipped out the New Mexico flag, and it really was a wonderful, wonderful day. Johnson's fitness pursuits go on. But more importantly, being a successful entrepreneur was his main selling point in his first run for governor. I, along with my wife, started a business here in Albuquerque 20 years ago as a one-person handyman operation. And over the last 20 years, we've grown Big J Enterprises into becoming one of the largest construction businesses in New Mexico. That taught him a lot. In business, uh, I learned some really valuable lessons. Sharing in the profits, showing up on time, uh, keeping your word. Voters liked hearing that. Johnson was elected in a state where Democrats outnumber Republicans two to one. So why isn't he doing better in the presidential election? Plenty of people hate Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Why don't they turn to Johnson? One reason is that recent surveys found almost 40% of Americans have never heard of Johnson. They don't even know that he's running. Also, I think he's not doing well because he doesn't answer questions crisply. He stumbles around. Johnson's not a slick speaker like Donald and Hillary. I hope that's the reason. It's not because people don't like libertarian ideas. How could you not like libertarian ideas once you hear about them?